Hi there, this is Nails with Learn to DIY, and I'm here today with my favorite eight year old, Ava. And Ava has asked if we could make a bunk bed for her dolls. So today's project an American Girl doll bunk bed. So, Ava already has this American Girl doll bed that we've had for a little while. So, we're going to use this as our sizing um, to get our measurements for how big the actual bed needs to be. And then we went online and found this little bed that we thought was pretty cute. So we're going to try to make something like this or similar to it anyway. Uh, we'll see how that looks. So that's, that's kind of the plan. And we're just going to use some scraps that we have around the shop. But I will put a cut list of what needs to be included in the description below. I'll put all the plans for whatever it is that we come up with. So for starters, we're going to make some measurements. So Ava, we're going to measure how wide the actual bed section needs to be. So it looks like the mattress is about... How, how many inches? inches? By... Um, 20. By 20, okay. So 10 by... All right, I think we've got our plans all set here. So this is what we're going to attempt anyway. So um, we're kind of just using this same plan and we're trying to use all really simple boards that you can buy at the hardware store. We've already got lots of scraps, so we're just using those. So these, our corner posts, are gonna be a two by four that's cut in half. We're gonna cut it to one and a half by one and a half and that's gonna be our corner post. It's gonna be 18 inches long. And then next we're going to do the rails that come across and for that we're just using these one by fours which you can also buy at the hardware store and then over here we're going to do on our footers footboards we're going to do some half inch plywood so we're going to do them half inch and they're going to be eight inches this way and then six inches tall we'll cut a little arch in them to make them nice and then um, we're going to do our mattress base which is going to be eighth inch plywood and we're gonna do those ones uh, that's full 10 by 20 and then we'll notch out the pieces that we need to so that it all slips nicely together. So that's the plan. We're gonna start cutting our wood and get our um, cuts all ready to go so that we can start assembling. All right, so we went ahead and put this together temporarily. These are all just loose, but we wanted to see how everything's gonna fit. And we're kind of liking this look. We're gonna sand everything down and kind of clean it up a little bit. But what, the, what we've decided is we have two options. Um, first of all, actually before that, we're gonna, these will be off the ground a little bit, just kind of like you see in the bed back here. Um, but thank you, Vanna White. <laughs> you probably have no idea who that is, do you? No. No, okay. We'll watch some Wheel of Fortune later. Okay, so we have two options on these headboards. Um, one option is to cut with a table saw, just make a little groove in here that that eighth inch plywood for the base is gonna slide right into. And you would do that on the, bit, on the uh, headboard, the footboard, and these two rails. So that's what we're actually gonna do in this case because we have a table saw and it's easy to do. And that way we don't have to use any glue or screws or anything like that. If you don't have a table saw or an easy way to do this, the other option is just to um, cut your, your base almost the exact same size we're going to do it anyway, just a little bit bigger so it doesn't quite go to the edges here, or maybe all the way to the edges depending on the look you want. And then just cut out your corners for these posts and then just uh, glue it or screw it or brad nail it right onto the bottom of your headboard, footboard, and rails. So either way will work. We're just going with the one that's a little less messy, I guess, because we have a table saw to cut those grooves. 
So let's cut those grooves in there and see how it looks. And the headboard and footboard to the posts and then the rails to the posts this thing has nowhere to go it's stuck right there so that's just what we want and now guess what that is strong Whoa. okay so it will hold everything just fine Okay, so now with all of our pieces cut, we've got our grooves cut out for the base to slide into. We've done a kind of a dry assembly here, and I've taken some measurements. We're going to assemble this, and the way we've decided to do this, and again, there's many ways you can put this together. Um, I have a bunch of screws lying around. They're kind of hodgepodge and mismatch, but these will work. Um, so I've got these screws that are all about two and a half inches, and if I drill seven eighths of an inch in, on our corner post here, so 7 eighths um, right there and 7 eighths right there, then that'll hit the center of the rails, the headboard, and the footboard. And I'm going to pre drill these using, um, actually, I didn't even see what size this was, but I'm going to pre drill these with a drill bit that's a little bit thinner than the diameter of the shaft of one of the screws. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And I'm going to mark these, and I'm actually just going to do one for each. So I'm going to do uh, one screw here, one here one there and one there and then on the headboard and the footboard we've got our brad nailer and we're going to use some two inch brads and so the two inches will do go through the one and a half inch here and then they'll go half inch into the headboard and footboard and then we're going to glue them together as well so with a combination of glue screws and brads i think this thing should be pretty sturdy so that's our next step so we're going to get started with that So the bed is all finished. We put a couple of coats of spray paint on there and then make sure to give it a couple of days to air out before you bring it into a bedroom because you want to make sure that it doesn't have any fumes or anything like that 
it gets pretty stinky if you bring it in too soon. So leave it in a well ventilated area for a little while and then it's ready to play. So that's it. I think it came out pretty well. Ava, what do you think? Is it pretty fun? Yeah. You like having a, a bunk bed for your dolls? Yeah. All right. So thanks for watching. If you're into building things, woodworking, home improvement, that kind of thing, then check out some of the other videos on Learn to DIY. You can also head on over to our website at learntodiy.com or follow the projects that we're building on social media. We're on Instagram and Facebook at Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other videos if you get a chance, and we'll see you next time.